The federal government, state and local government councils have shared a total of 647.353 billion naira from the Federation Accounts Revenue for January 2020. This was disclosed in a statement on Wednesday by the Deputy Director of Press and Public Relations, Henshaw Ubike. According to Ogubike, the Federation Account Allocation Committee FAC, in a meeting chaired by the Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Mahmoud Issa Ditse, disbursed the funds to the three tiers of government. FAC confirmed that for the month of January 2020, there was a significant increase in import duty revenue, while companies' income tax, CIT, value added tax, VAT, Oil and gas royalties and petroleum profits tax PPT recorded decreases. Ahmed Idris, Accountant General of the Federation, says states and local government councils will receive additional funds from February following the implementation of the 7.5 increase in value added tax. Idris made the assertion on Wednesday while speaking with newsmen at the sidelines on the sidelines of the Federal Federation Account Allocation Committee 2020 retreat with a theme. If efficient federation revenue allocation as a nexus for national economic diversification. Idris said that the federal government remained committed to increasing the, the contribution of the non-oil sector to the nation's revenue base. According to him, states are also being encouraged to tap into the vast potential that are bound in their respective areas to increase their internally generated revenue IGR. Now joining me in the studio to take a look at this is the director budget Olusion Onibide. Thank yeah. you very much. It's Did all, I get that? You were close to it. Very close. <laughs> very okay, close to okay. It. we'll take that. Thank uh, you very I will much. Take it. Yeah. All right. So the implementation of the seven point five percent increase mm. has sent some, you know, benefits for the government. Is this same for the common man? I, I don't think it's same for the common man. Um, and it, but we something we also have to come to realization. Um, Nigeria has one of the lowest value-added tax in the world. Um, even in Africa, I think Eritrea only does worse than Nigeria. Um, Nigeria, at even at 7.5 percent, does not match uh, other countries like even Ghana, Egypt, South Africa. They are range between 15 to 18 percent in terms of value-added tax. So it's a step forward, and I think it's a question of government becoming more bigger, revenue expenditure become more larger. Um, states are, are crying that they need more revenue, and we are saying that it's priority for government to think through that we also have to find a way to raise revenue. I, mean, I think it's the place they look clearly at as a value added tax. It's a step forward, but I don't think that's where the answer should end. Um, we have to look at how do we grow this economy. You can't grow an economy on 2.5 or 2.8 percent and expect that there will be marginal increases in revenue. Something like that should be properly done. And also because um, the value added tax, uh, as the, the Accountant General said, is going to affect more people, it's going to benefit the states more than the federal government. The state and local government combined take 85% of the value added tax collections. Um, so the federal government is not really even benefiting much from this. Now, what other areas should they be looking at? I mean, you have to first of all think through how do you attract investment. That's the first thing we have to first show. Because if you're able to bring new companies in, we employ new people, or we employ because if you're at the state level, you're looking at revenue. Payee is the biggest element to do that. So you want to work us to be formally engaged. People talk about the IGR miracle of Lagos. That is a huge disparity compared to every other state in the country. But it's just because Lagos has state has the largest concentration of former workers. I think it's over 200 billion naira from the former workers of Lagos State. And so it's important that every state thinks through how do I attract talent? How do I attract businesses that can employ people that can pay PE? And the second thing we have to look at is efficiency. I mean, we can always think about we can outspend our way out of this, we can grow our revenue at staggering levels. Government also needs to be extremely efficient, you know, in the way public resources are spent. I mean, you see state governor, for example, there's a story yesterday that the river state governor gave 500 million naira out to a private university. I mean, you are going to ask yourself, I mean, is, are there no competing demands that, that that are pressing within the states. I don't know small businesses that need support. I don't know um, 
um, education project, out project, that could be 500 million that I would do better for. But that's what we have become. I mean, yes, the privatization of public funds. Uh, still uh, staying with the utilization of those funds. Mm -hmm. We hear the recent increase to the allocation to states as mm -hmm. it stands and local government. Um, do you see that this will improve development in these regions, considering that, I mean, there is increased funding now? Yeah, so at 647 billion, that was what was shared in January. That's even a step down. You know, in the wrong time, we've been doing above 700 billion naira on a monthly basis. Um, also, we had the benefit of devaluation of naira in recent times, so that makes the volume of the naira much more higher, bigger. But it also shows a trend. I mean, all prices are played to it. I mean, with around 57, 56, 55 dollars per barrel. I mean, we have not been able to reach a new heights in recent times. Um, and also, this is, the, this is the first one of the year, so definitely this can be a bit more slow on the non revenue side. But I, but I feel most of the thing is that there, we can't continue on this. There's this basket or there's this bowl that we all come to the center to pick from. Everybody has to see Nigeria in a way of in, as an investment vehicle, not as a distributive mechanism. You know, we have to stop what people call the feeding bottle federalism, which means that people work for money. I mean, we're looking at all the revenue that is being shared. How many states actually are net contributors into that bowl? Maybe less than 10 states. I mean, if you pick up the South South state that produce oil, and you pick up maybe Lagos and a few other states, I mean, most other states can't even exist without the federal allocation uh, structure. Yeah, while well, we're waiting for you know us to think out of mm. the box and see how we can increase revenue outside this allocation, for now that's what most of them mm. are bank on. So how, in your opinion, can we regulate utilization of these funds so mm. that you know the effect mm. is seen for uh, the ver in the various states. Right? The first thing we need to put forward is transparency. I mean, a lot of this, the spending is not even made public. So you can even know how to even intervene or have conversations around these funds. Um, we need much more openness about how space governments spend public funds. I mean, especially if the federal government has what they call the open treasury account. Um, so on the line now, you can get some level of degree, the number of the actual spending of federal government on a monthly basis. So I mean, that's a step forward. But we also need state government to key into that. And after we've done transparency, then we also have to empower intermediate actors to be able to give those data to people and there should be questions and conservations about that. But most important is also the election of leaders. We need to take, not just the presidency, we need to take the election of governors of local government should be very, very serious. A lot of times we, we carry it away by the hysteria and the, the noise around elections that we forget even to really address the capacity and the competence of these people, as well as character. And so that's one thing I see that we're not doing well. You know, the election is so much about noise, but we don't pay attention to the sort The details. Yeah. I'm afraid that's where we have to stop. Thank, Thank you, you so very much for coming on the news. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much.